And then they tell you, well, you know, I got to talk to my spouse. You guys ever hear that one? Yeah. Hell yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, sweet, man, we got a deal here. Here's my phone. Can we call her? Have you guys ever noticed that when you ask the buyer to get their husband or wife on the phone, that their husband and wife is basically deceased, works first, second, and third shifts, and is completely unavailable? It's because the spouse isn't the fucking issue. <laughs> What they're doing is they're just giving you guys something, a cop out that they can use so that they don't have to do business with you. So instead of trying to get them on the phone, you can follow Jordan Stupar's process over here and say, hey, I completely understand that you want to talk to your spouse. Truth is, I got a ring on my finger. I talk to my spouse about most of the big decisions that I make as well. I couldn't fault you for doing the same. Now it's Wednesday here. You did mention to me that you're hoping to get this project done ASAP, but I can imagine that if I gave you till Monday, you'd have a chance to talk to your spouse. Would that be all right if I gave you until Monday? No pressure. I'm taking the pressure completely off right here. I might be even packing up some of my stuff and I'm just like, can I give you till Monday to talk to your spouse? 100% of the people that you guys talk to are going to say, yeah, no problem. That, that sounds great. Excellent. I can imagine that over the weekend, you're going to do what I do with my spouse. You're probably going to go hit date night. You're going to go hit that steakhouse. You're going to get the filet medium rare, just the way that you like it. You're going to get the bottle of cab. You guys are going to get the chocolate mousse for dessert. And somewhere along the line, you and your spouse are going to be talking about this unbelievable guy named Jordan that stopped by your home and talked to you about what we talked about today. And you're going to talk to her about all the unbelievable things that we're going to be able to do for you. And you're also going to tell her it's going to cost 800 bucks. I'm curious to find out when I call you back on Monday and I ask you what the word is, what are you going to tell me if your spouse says no? And what I'm doing right there is I'm putting a fork in the road because only one of two different things can happen here. Either one, they're going to say, well, I'm going to fucking do it anyway. I want this fixed and then close the deal. Great. Awesome. That's what I usually do. I like to be the hero of the family and just get things done myself. What's your credit card number? Let's get this locked in. Or they're going to tell you, well, you know, if my spouse were to say no over date night, I would probably feel uncomfortable about moving forward. And then you start my process all over again. I completely understand that you wouldn't feel comfortable moving forward if your spouse said no. Truth is, I don't like sleeping in the doghouse either. It's a pretty shitty place to be. But out of curiosity here, Nancy, what exactly do you think your spouse might say no to? Would it be the fact that we look handsome and we're dressed up in our nice fancy blue shirts right here? Would it, would it be the fact that we're going to be able to actually solve a problem here inside your home and make sure that you're comfortable with your family? Would it be the fact that we've got an awesome truck that I also went over budget on out there in the driveway with all my shit in it that we also paid too much money for so that we could fix this problem for you? Or would it be the $800? Or would it be the 800 bucks, Nancy? Oh, it'd be the $800. Hey, I get it. The truth is, Jordan, I just, I found it for less from a competitor. Like they're going to do it for 425. I completely understand that you guys found a quote or an estimate from a different company that could save you a couple of bucks. And between you, me and the fence post, Nancy, I would tell you to save a couple of bucks because I like saving money when I can too. I feel you. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to be able to match their price. I'm not saying that we should ever do anything like that because we have an unbelievable service. But I am curious again, Nancy, if we were the same price as Joe Schmo over here, who would you rather do business with? And then she's going to be looking at your handsome face. She's going to say, I'd rather do business with y'all. Hey, I appreciate that. That's what most people say. Out of curiosity here, Nancy, why would you rather do business with us if we were somehow the same price? Oh, well, you know, you're more handsome than the last guy that showed up. Hey, I appreciate that. I take my skincare regimen very seriously over here. Why else would you rather do business with me? Oh, well, you guys are professional. You showed up on time. You guys had a great sales pitch. I really liked some of the things that you were talking about, your guarantees, your warranties, yada, yada. Hey, we appreciate that. We work really hard to deliver customers like you value every single day. Why else would you rather do business with us if we somehow were the same price? Well, you know, you're here and like you guys could probably just get it done right away. Absolutely. We definitely could. Now you can see why we charge just a couple of dollars more than Joe Schmo over there. What kind of credit card do you want to put this on? Visa, MasterCard, Discover, Amex. We take Bitcoin, Ethereum. I'll take cash, whatever you got. The point that I'm trying to make to you guys is that I'll never run out of things to say back to you, no matter how many little objections you guys want to give me. Well, the truth is, Jordan, I just want to think about it. I completely understand that you want to think about it. I use my brain when I make decisions too. Couldn't fault you for wanting to do the same. But tell me, on a scale from one to 10, 10 being you're ready to do this, this is a great decision. You can afford it. You can see all the value here. And a one being you wouldn't allow us to service you and your home for free. Where do you stand right now? Your buyer's never going to go lower than a four because they don't want to hurt your guys' feelings. And they're never going to give you a 10 because fuck, they're giving you an objection. 
So whatever number they give you, a five, a seven, a two, what it doesn't matter. You can say, hey, I love the number six, favorite number. Tell me, what would make it a 10 right now? And then you're done with the think about it because they're going to tell you again that the price or the spouse or they're going to talk to you about whatever it is that's on their minds. And so what I want to do, hopefully, if you guys are tracking with me and you guys have had your coffee and you guys are awake and you're taking this in, these are the actual word tracks responsible for tripling and quadrupling the income of sales professionals that we work with.